Have you ever strolled down memory lane on the gritty streets of 1970s San Francisco? If not, it's time to tune in to The Streets of San Francisco, a classic TV series that brought the city's pulse to the small screen. From the moment you hit play, you'll find yourself on a roller coaster of emotions. Funny, shocking, and sometimes downright sad, this show packs a punch. But hey, that's what makes it unforgettable. Do you have a cherished memory tied to those iconic streets? Or when was the first time you got hooked on the drama unfolding on your screen? Now, as you dive into the episodes, brace yourself for a journey filled with unexpected twists and turns. And here's the kicker, there are countless funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to unravel. So keep watching. We'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. Your narrative might just be the missing piece in someone else's nostalgic puzzle. Lights, camera, action, let the reminiscing begin. The 1972 TV series, The Streets of San Francisco, skillfully captured the city's essence in each episode, leaving a lasting impression on pop culture. Viewers were taken on an emotional roller coaster, experiencing funny, shocking, and poignant moments that made the show unforgettable. During its time, the series received widespread praise, connecting with audiences who were drawn to the gritty streets and compelling stories. The show's influence extended beyond television, impacting fashion, language, and the portrayal of crime dramas. Spin-offs emerged as a sign of the show's lasting popularity, expanding the narrative universe for fans. Merchandise, including posters and collectibles, became tangible reminders of the show's cultural significance. The streets of San Francisco's legacy goes beyond its initial run, with successive generations discovering and enjoying its captivating storytelling and character dynamics. Its influence is not a fleeting memory, but a lasting contribution to television history. In conclusion, The Streets of San Francisco, with its gripping storytelling and cultural impact, stands as a landmark in television. Its effects are seen in spin-offs, merchandise, and the enduring affection of fans who appreciate the memories it provided. Carl Malden's actual last name, Sekulovich, not only identified him off-screen, but also added authenticity to the character of the elderly sergeant in the series. The portrayal of a seasoned law enforcement figure taking the bad guys to the cells added a real touch to the gritty narratives. In the San Francisco Police Department, the title inspector held a unique significance. Unlike in other police departments where it denotes a higher rank in this show, it simply indicated a detective. This nuance showcases the distinct hierarchy within the department, offering a glimpse into the inner workings of law enforcement in the city. Interestingly, the TV show made its debut in the United Kingdom on November 19, 1973. This delayed introduction to international audiences highlights the show's gradual but impactful global reach. It resonated beyond borders, attracting viewers with gripping stories and character dynamics as viewers navigated the emotional roller coaster of each episode, they encountered the various aspects of an inspector, unraveling layers of crime in the picturesque yet challenging backdrop of San Francisco. The show not only left a lasting impression on pop culture, but also contributed to the broader narrative of crime dramas. The influence of the show went beyond television screens. Its debut in the UK in 1973 marked a pivotal moment, extending its cultural impact to an international audience. The character-driven narratives and the city's portrayal became defining aspects, resonating with viewers across different continents. In conclusion, with its authentic portrayal of law enforcement, the show left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. The nuanced use of titles, the incorporation of real names, and the delayed international debut all contribute to its lasting legacy. This classic TV series remains a powerful example of storytelling's ability to transcend geographical boundaries and time. Carl Malden, aged 60 at the show's inception and 65 at its conclusion, defied the typical retirement age for a police officer. Despite this, The Streets of San Francisco, a television crime drama shot on location in San Francisco, California, and produced by Quinn Martin Productions, captured the city's essence. The first season was a collaboration with Warner Brothers Television. Sponsored by the Ford Motor Company, the series prominently featured new Ford cars. Notably, in early episodes, Detectives Keller and Stone drove a 1971 Ford Galaxy four-door sedan, and the entire SFPD cruiser fleet comprised Ford Galaxies. Carl Malden's actual last name, Sekulovich, not only identified him off-screen, but also lent authenticity to his role as the elderly sergeant in the series. 
the portrayal of a seasoned law enforcement figure added a genuine touch to the gritty narratives. In the San Francisco Police Department, the title inspector held a unique meaning, signifying a detective rather than a higher rank, revealing the show's attention to nuanced details in the department's hierarchy. Interestingly, the TV series made its debut in the United Kingdom on November 19, 1973, underlining its gradual but impactful global reach. The delayed international introduction highlighted the show's resonance beyond borders, attracting viewers with its gripping stories and character dynamics. As audiences navigated the emotional roller coaster of each episode, they delved into the various aspects of an inspector, unraveling layers of crime against the picturesque yet challenging backdrop of San Francisco. In conclusion, the streets of San Francisco, with its authentic portrayal of law enforcement, left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. The nuanced use of titles, incorporation of real names, and delayed international debut contributed to its enduring legacy. This classic TV series remains a powerful example of storytelling transcending geographical boundaries and time. Carl Malden and Michael Douglas immersed themselves in the world of SFPD detectives to lend authenticity to the series. The detectives appreciated their dedication, labeling them as very fine fellows. Post the second episode of the final season, Michael Douglas departed due to his successful venture in producing One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, an Academy Award-winning film. His character's absence was explained by taking a teaching position at a local college. In interviews, Michael Douglas revealed that Carl Malden served as his surrogate father off the set, despite Malden not having any sons. The genuine portrayal of law enforcement figures, the attention to detail in departmental hierarchy, and the delayed international debut contributed to the show's lasting impact. Carl Malden's real last name, Sekulovich, added authenticity to his role as the elderly sergeant. The title inspector in the SFPD signified a detective, not a higher rank. The series showcased Ford cars, sponsored by the Ford Motor Company, featuring prominently in early episodes. Carl Malden, defying typical retirement age, continued to play a police officer until the age of 65. The Streets of San Francisco debuted in the United Kingdom in 1973, gradually gaining international popularity. Its influence extended beyond borders, resonating with viewers globally. The show's legacy lies in its authentic portrayal of law enforcement and its ability to transcend geographical boundaries. The streets of San Francisco stood apart from its television counterparts by seamlessly embedding itself into the city's fabric. Filmed almost entirely on location, the series utilized a warehouse turned soundstage at the dead end of Kearney Street, creating an authentic backdrop for its gritty narratives. This location, now standing across from 18855 Kearney Street, adds a layer of historical continuity to the show's legacy. In West Germany, the character Steve underwent a name change to Heller to avoid confusion with another character on local television. Meanwhile, the studio's attention to detail in crafting SFPD radio cars with authentic markings included a minor deviation. Early episodes featured studio cars with twin revolving red lights deviating from the actual SFPD car's configuration. Authenticity extended beyond visual details as Carl Malden, born Sekulovich, brought a genuine touch to his role as the elderly sergeant. The title inspector in the SFPD, denoting a detective rather than a higher rank, revealed the series' commitment to nuanced storytelling. Notably, the debut of the show in the United Kingdom in 1973 marked a significant step in its gradual global reach, resonating with audiences beyond borders. The collaboration with Warner Brothers Television and the sponsorship by the Ford Motor Company, featuring new Ford cars prominently, highlighted the series' connections to the industry. Carl Malden, defying typical retirement age, portrayed a police officer until 65, adding a layer of realism to the character dynamics. Michael Douglas's departure after the second episode of the final season due to his success in producing an Academy Award-winning film showcased the actor's outside accomplishments. The camaraderie between Michael Douglas and Carl Malden extended beyond the screen, with Malden serving as a surrogate father to Douglas Offset. As the series gradually gained international popularity, its legacy became entrenched not only in authentic portrayals of law enforcement, but also in its ability to transcend geographical boundaries.